Hi everyone, I'm Leah Packer. And I'm Rachel Packer, the mother of the mother-daughter duo YouTube cooking sensation, because I said so. Because I said so. <laughs> and today, we are partnering with Daya to bring you the easiest, the cheesiest, and the most delicious recipe yet. That's right, dorm style loaded nachos using Daya's Mexican four cheese style blend. And Daya products are free of the top nine allergens and plant-based, which means they're an absolute game changer for someone like me, who is a college student, has food allergies, and lactose intolerant. So what on earth are we waiting for? Let's, Let's get, get cooking. cooking. Trade on. Let's go. Well, you see, Mom, if you may have noticed on our matching because I said so aprons, I am sous chef and you are head chef. But today, our recipe is made for the dorm in the apartment. Who's living in the dorm in the apartment? It's me. Hand over the head chef apron. What? Hand no, over wait, the head chef wait, apron. What is that? I am leading the charge today with this day of recipe because college students rise up. We can do this. Maybe. <laughs> Hand over the head chef apron. College students, beginner cooks, newbies, if you have never made a recipe, put on your head chef aprons because we are going to do this together. <laughs> let's get cooking. Yeah, let's get cooking. To start off our recipe, as you can see on our state-of-the-art cooking cam, we have a small plate of nachos. This is your self-serving platter, and it's going to be made in the microwave. <laughs> Scanning over, we have our delightful toppings bar, and mom eating some of the chips. And then, your big party pack. If you have guests coming over and you want to make lots of nachos, this is for you. <laughs> as you see, our day of cheese coming over. So as you just saw on our cooking cam, we have our single nachos pack for a night and we have our party pack of nachos, but most importantly, we have our toppings. So we are going purely, purely basic here. We have diced peppers, yes. avocado, yes. black olives, black beans. Um, what is this? Oh, this salsa. Salsa. <laughs> salsa. It's pretty and, key in nachos. <laughs> and some basil and cilantro. So our first step is we are just going to season our black beans. So we're Well, head that. chef, what are we going to we are going to do a drizzle of olive oil. Just a drizzle. Just yes. a drizzle. Okay. Okay, drizzle's done. <laughs> and <laughs> some spices. Oh my God. Mm. Head chefs don't sniff spices. <laughs> we have onion powder, thyme, salt, and pepper. Not all, are you going to use all the spices? I'm going to use a little bit of the spices. Because I don't chef. know as a sous chef if you okay, would like can to you use stop being a backseat <laughs> head chef. Then we're going to start layering using our Daya Mexican four cheese style blend. So let's turn on cooking cam and get this party started. What? Mom will be doing the party pack nachos and I'll be doing the just for you nacho plate. So we are first going to start with putting on these delicious black beans. So I'm going to take a nice little scoop. I am just going to do a nice little smattering, but again, this is customizable. If you are a bean fanatic, go crazy. And while she puts on those black beans, I'm going to start sprinkling my Daya cheese. Daya also has Parmesan that you can use. They melt just as well. But today we are using the Mexican four cheese. That Ooh, actually looks good. like real cheese. That really does. Oh my God, this is so nice. I am lactose intolerant. I've been lactose intolerant since the fourth grade. Really? And fourth grade? Yeah, I know that long. And oh. I kind of gave up on ever having, you know, like normal cheese again. I thought that because I couldn't really eat cheese, I just had to avoid dairy entirely. But with products like these, I can eat nachos like everyone else. I'm also anaphylactic allergic to peanuts and tree nuts. That's... So we now have our cheese on. Let's put on some more toppings, sous chef. Okay, I'm so gonna start you're going to put olives. olives on yours because the rest of the family doesn't like olives. That's the olives. beauty of this. You can oh, just make yeah. it any way you, you want. want. So I'm putting on some diced red pepper. Ooh. That's so pretty. Do you want some pepper on yours? I would love some pepper. Do you want some olives on yours? Oh, no. we just talked about that. I'm sorry. Okay, A being good head chef, chef is new. This being this head is. chef is new to me. <laughs> okay, what next? Oh, avocado. Well, do you want to put that on after? I like heating up avocado. Is that okay, weird? Okay, you can put yours up heated. I'm going to keep mine, you know. You know, that's the beauty. Traditionally that's the not. beauty. And this is so easy. This is taking us, what, like five minutes? Yeah. If you don't know what to have for dinner tonight in your apartment, which I know will happen to me many a time, got it right here. I'm actually going to put, there's like these like crushed pieces that aren't oh, yeah. full we pieces. Used, we just used I'm our just favorite brand. I'm just going to put those on top. Of gluten-free chips. So use whatever extra is comfortable for you. Can you stop interrupting head chef's monologue? Sorry. <laughs> Didn't realize you were doing a monologue. I'm just doing a little one. I'm putting on some cilantro and basil. Who 
am I? If you have seen our other videos, you know that I like to eat the food. There's no shame in that. While we're making it. <laughs> There's no shame in that. You want a little more cheese? Oh, yes, That please. looks so pretty. Thank you. Cookie cam, you getting this? Head Chef says, <laughs> You can use cilantro, you can use basil. Some people don't like cilantro. We have preheated our oven to 400 degrees. We're gonna stick the party pack nachos in there for 10 minutes. 10 Until minutes. everything's like nice and melty and it all kind of If you don't have together. an oven or you don't have the time, we are going to stick this in the microwave for two minutes and we're gonna- We'll see you in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> and we are back! Ah, this looks, looks so, so good. good. Beautiful, colorful, deliciously melted. Um, the plate took about two minutes in the microwave and the pan took about 10, 10 minutes, minutes in the oven. Oh yeah. my God, can we taste? Yeah, and if you want, I have some salsa here. Oh, let's add that. Oh my gosh, are you ready? I am. Oh my God, ready? Okay, ready, one, two, three. Mm. It's so hot. It's so good. <laughs> oh my God. Mm. And you can just make it like that. Like, you just want mm. a snack. Mm -hmm. You don't even need a crowd. You mm. just eat it all by yourself. I'm about to eat this whole thing by myself. It's actually very melty. I know, it melted. So many dairy-free cheeses do not melt. And that's like weird, you know? This is amazing. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in today. For more great dairy-free recipes using Daya, go on to the Daya Foods website, www.dayafoods.com. And to find these amazing products, all you have to do is go onto the Daya Foods website under Find Us, and you will find, find us. this cheese. So, I think that's it for us today. No, no, I need, my, I need my apron. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. <laughs> Thank you, everybody.